Hello everybody, this is Connie back with a review mail. This is the second time I have taped this one. I'm not very happy. I went and um, downloaded all my stuff onto my computer and this file was corrupted. So here we go again. Fun. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get started. I don't have a ton of stuff to show you today, but I do have a friend mail and I do have um, a subscription bag that totally confuses me. But anyway, let's get started to the review stuff to let you know a little bit about my reviewing. I um, am mainly doing Amazon Review Trader right now, plus um, trying to get back in Thomason's Good Graces, and uh, I started a new one, Review Kick, I believe, and I've chosen a bunch of stuff, but I have yet to be chosen for any um, promotions there. And um, I have unsubscribed from all of my Facebook groups, um, review groups. And the reason behind that is that I got so tired of those people, administrators of these groups, fighting amongst themselves, um, quitting one group and starting another one, uh, down or uh, belittling their reviewers and yelling at their reviewers and talking down to them and just being rude and mean to their reviewers. If it wasn't for the reviewers, they would just be sitting out there. You know, um, we do this for them, but God forbid you're one day late on a review or or um, you didn't sign up right away or whatever. They're constantly finding something wrong or something to bitch about. So I'm done with that. I'm, I'm still doing email ones and, like I said, um, internet... Um, site ones, not Facebook though. So anyway, let's get started. These are all from um, Amazon Review Trader, except for this one here was a email that I got. And this is a Armstrong Compression Premium Orthopedic Compression Footwear. And I got this, um, they came on an email and asked me if I would review this. And I said, okay, um, I'm gonna give it to my mom to see if she can wear it because she has more feet problems than I do. I do have feet problems, so perhaps maybe I'll try it someday too. But anyway, I got this. I got, I was very happy to get this. Very happy. And I got this for free. And this is a nail dryer. You just plug it in here. You um, set it on a table. And there's a button up here to push and it's just an LED um, one where you put your hand under it and it dries your hair, dries your nail. It's not a UV. I would like to get a UV one so I can try the gel nails, but I'm excited to try this. Okay. Put a few of these things on my desk here so I won't forget to do them. All right. The next thing is 100% um, natural coconut oil hair mask. I have never tried a hair mask. And so I thought, this, this might be kind of cool to try. But it says deep conditioner for softer, silkier, healthier hair. Intensive repair. No parabens. No sulfates. It's 260 mils or 8.8 .8 fluid ounces. Pure Body Naturals is the company. And it says our premium coconut oil infused... Intensive repair treatment deeply hydrates, repairs, conditions, and transforms your hair by improving its texture, manageability, and shine. This 100% sulfate-free and paraben-free treatment oil helps create beautifully silky soft hair and provides protection from heat damage. And it says to apply a generous amount to towel-dried, clean, shampooed hair, uh, Use your hands and fingers to evenly distri distribute through hair, beginning at scalp and hair, two hair ends, and leave for 5 to 15 minutes. And then rinse, use one to two times weekly. 
and it's got coconut oil, shea butter, water, rosehip, seed oil, vitamin E, vitamin B5, glycerin, argan oil, glycerin, glycine, uh, betaine, simbazole, and ginger oil in it. So it's got all kinds of good stuff in there. So I thought I would try that. And it's a good size jar. All right. Then I got, um, I mainly got these. It's a spoon and it's a bamboo um, kitchen spoon, whatever set. Um, it's called Six Piece Serving Bamboo Utensil Set. And the whole reason I got it is for this and for the one behind it, which is a slotted um the same thing but slotted because I really like these for like eggs and turning things and stuff and I like using the wood wooden or the bamboo um, and as you you know if you've been watching me for any time I have trouble with bamboo stuff I get it a lot of times broken when I go to review it but I looked over this and everything looks intact and good so I can't wait to start using them okay the next thing is just a um, car charger and it is a, that's all it says. I'll just show you what it is here. And I'm just going to toss that in my purse to take out to my car. Okay. Next thing I got was, I'm as excited about this. It is, I haven't counted them. So I, I don't know for sure. But it, um, it wraps up like this. Like this. And then it snaps right there. Then you open it up, and it is a pencil holder, like a, um, but I'm going to use it for my gel pens. It's either 48 or 72 openings. I can't remember. I'm almost thinking it's 72, which this is going to work out great for my, my colored pencils. I can just put them all in there according to color and just arrange them nicely. I like that. Um, instead of just having to hunt down colors and stuff. So anyway, there's that. I don't know what I'm doing there, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, so the next thing I got I was excited about too. It looks like, whoops, I have cat hair all over it. It looks like a um, Morphe kit, really. But there is the name of it. It's kind of weird. ECV Top. Which I don't really... It, and that's all it's got on it. <sighs> Must have laid this down on top of something that had a lot of hair. Cat hair. Or, better yet, Buddy probably laid on it. Because he likes to lay on my stuff that I lay on the bed. Anyway. <sighs> you open... <sighs> well, for crying out loud, Buddy... You open it up, and it's all these neutral colors. And in yesterday's video, I swatched a few of them, and I'll do that again. Um, not real impressed with the, the pigmentation, though. Let's just go down this side and do a couple. See if you can see that. They're not real pigmented. Um... There's the dark one. There, you can see them a little better that way. The one you can't really see too well, this one. This one here. But that is all four of these on this side I did. Those are really the darkest colors, and that's the pigmentation. So there's not a lot of pigmentation. There's no color names. No, I mean, they are just as generic as generic can be, but I'm still going to try them out. I have not yet, but I'm going to um, just see how I like them. All right, so that is it for my review items. Let me put this over on the bed. And then the other day I got um, a card in the mail from a viewer that refused to or wanted to st I'm not gonna say refused but wanted to stay anonymous um, she did not give me her name she just said uh, a subby that wanted to, to help me out and so she gave me a Starbucks card and it was for $20 thank you thank you thank you I do not have a Starbucks in my town 
and the closest Starbucks that I know of is like 75 miles away. So what I did um, was go online and get a few things. Now I spent over the $20, but that's okay. Um, I What I got was this um, insulated coffee cup. Isn't that pretty? It's just like it's quilted, only it's metal. And it, um, it has an opening like this that, that you drink out of, but then you turn. Let's see here. If I can figure this out. I had a heck of a time. Yeah. You just turn it, and it closes it up. Then you turn it again and hope you don't keep opening it like I do. It's just going to take some practice. Open it again like that. And then the inside is just stainless steel. And it is a 16 ounce. It is, let's read the bottom here, 16 ounce. Um, it was $24.95. But that is what I really wanted off the whole site. I really like this. Um, so thank you so much. You have no idea how much this is appreciated. You know, she, she just said, go buy yourself a cup of coffee or whatever. And I certainly would have. I went to our um, grocery store that has a coffee place in it. And that is Caribou Coffee. And I thought it was Starbucks. And I think it started out to be a Starbucks. But they wouldn't um, take my card, of course. So I decided I'd just go online and see what they had. Because I knew that they, sell, they sold these kind of things. And I got this. And I'm very happy with it. I absolutely love it. I have not tried it yet, of course. But I'm going to take it with me to work this weekend. So we'll see how it works. Okay, last thing is, I got a email from Lip Monthly the other day that said, um, your boxes or your bag is on the way. So I wrote to them because I have been going back and forth with them for months and told them that I canceled. Why am I getting a box? I have not yet heard. There was no money taken out of my account. So I have no idea because I check it daily and there's nothing from lip monthly in on my account I as a matter of fact I went into my PayPal and I canceled my recurring payments to them um, and this has been like a month or two ago and I didn't I don't think I got a bag last month but I got one this month I I'm so confused about this so anyway I'm kind of glad I got it because I I like what's in it but I'm not paying for it. If they take money out of my account, I'm going to refuse it. So I'll just send everything back. Anyway, this is the bag that it came in. And last time that I've been going with them, I says, by the way, your bags smell atrocious. They smell so bad of plastic, like burning plastic or something. So she says, oh, I'll look into it, you know. And this one doesn't smell as bad, actually. So maybe they did something to their bags. So anyway, what's in this this one is, um, this is kind of weird to me. Um, this is a cargo. And it's just, it's a blush and bronzer. I mean, look how damn tiny that, how are you supposed to get a brush in here? You know, this is how tiny they are. And the bronzer, I don't use bronzer, but it does look like a really pretty eyeshadow. But that is what that is. Um, I'm probably going to put that in for a giveaway because I haven't even swatched it. So The next thing is an Echo Lips or Eco Lips um, Eco Tints in Sugar Plum. I've gotten one of these before. They're cruelty free, cause cormine free, gluten free. I've gotten one of these before, um, but it was clear. And this one here has got a shade to it. See that? I just, mm, let me try to get this stuff off my hand. I swatched something. And we'll try to show you the color of this. There, it's just got a tint. I would most definitely use that because I do like their balms. I use their other one. 
Okay. The next thing that came was um, in their card. I don't know what I did with their card that I had yesterday. I might have thrown it away. But this is Camila, Camilla Cosmetics. Um, and this is the lipstick. Okay, come on here, shut. And this is what it, the box looks like. Very pretty. Very pretty. <clears throat> and this is the lipstick, which kind of kills me because it looks just like a bullet like MAC. But it's got Camilla, Cam Camilla Cosmetics on there. And it's very pretty. Very pretty color. Take this off my hand here and I'll swatch it. For crying out loud. All right. I'm actually going to take my lipstick off and put this on so I can show you. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I am going to take my lipstick off. My lips are kind of stained from that lipstick. So anyway, I'll put this on. And I've been doing lots of lip swatches for another video I'm doing. Video series that I'm doing. So excuse me if I have any lipstick outside of the lines there. Okay, and then the next thing we got was a lip gloss. in the Camila. Camilla. I don't know why I call it Camila. And you know how I feel about lip gloss. I don't like it. But I tried this yesterday. Um, over the top of their lipstick. It's very pretty. And it's just 44 is all the only color that they put on there. Okay, let's put this on. Now, this use the reason I don't like lip glosses is they're kind of smeary. They're most usually very sticky, but this one isn't. Of course, it's, you know, slippery because it's gloss, but it's very pretty. It matches the lipstick perfectly. It um, doesn't have one ounce of stickiness, not a bit. Let's do this over in the white. Maybe you can see a little better. Isn't that pretty? It's really, really rather pretty. So if this is something I will be keeping, I will be keeping this set. I do really like it. Um, like I said, I'm just not a lip gloss person, but I kind of like this one. So Cam Camilla Cosmetics, um, I will be looking them up. I will be, um, these, according to the thing, these said that these were $14 each, which is very affordable. Um, and let's see, the Cargo Cosmetics was 10 and the Echo Lips was 450 I remember that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Anonymous person, for sending me that Starbucks gift card. I, I love it. Thank you so much. All right. I will talk to you guys later and um, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.